whilst I'm involved in all facets of plastic surgery, I specialise in microsurgical reconstruction of the breast, head and neck, sarcoma and traumatic injuries. I have particular interest in developing newer and safer techniques of free tissue transfer and I also practice as a hand surgeon managing both elective and emergency conditions. Uh, to me, it's important to be a part of a body that continues to support and promote the strengths, the capabilities and the interests of plastic surgeons across Australia. There are many issues behind the scenes of our daily practices which are managed by ASPs and without their support, it would be difficult to provide those surgical services to our patients. In this day and age, it's important to recognise that as plastic surgeons, we're a highly trained and specialised group of surgeons providing the best and safest care for our patients. ASPs support us to educate both the public and our patients about why it's best to choose a specialist plastic surgeon. Educational events such as a PSC are crucial to the development of better and safer care for our patients. We come together to exchange ideas, techniques and tips with our colleague surgeons across Australia, but we also get the opportunity to hear from international visiting world-renowned surgeons. I come away from each PSC with a bunch of ideas for research within my unit and tips and techniques of how to improve what I do. So initially I started my career in general surgery and I had the opportunity to look after patients who'd had some pretty complex head and neck reconstructions. I was amazed and challenged at the time of what could actually be done to restore some of the function and appearance of these patients who'd had cancer surgery. So. From there, I embarked on a career in plastic surgery, and to this day, I'm proud of the fact that we're trained as plastic surgeons with a set of techniques and tools that we can apply to problems anywhere around the body, whether that's moving a finger that's had a traumatic accident, facilitating speech in someone who's had a head and neck cancer surgery, or restoring confidence in a woman who's had breast cancer surgery. I'm continuously stimulated by the type and breadth of work that I do from day to day, and that's why I chose to become a specialist plastic surgeon.